can hear me and then right uh, okay so the call is getting recorded and okay i see the messages from you guys okay let me start presentation mm. Okay. Okay, let me know when you guys can see my screen. <coughs> okay, you guys can see my screen. Okay, I know this class is a class here, uh, but I think last time we did not finish some of the or we actually just got onto first data type for uh, sequence type. Uh, at session, we will continue with the next one. But I remember I gave you guys some puzzle. So you guys want to talk about the puzzle first or talk about these things first? You guys have a choice today. Well, no. I'm actually the puzzle. I was the puzzle that I say by the all. We will go and do this list and things first, and then go towards the end of our class. We'll do puzzle. Okay. Don't puzzle one type. Ah. Uh, oh, good. Okay. Okay. So puzzle at how they say, Anna? Okay. If you guys don't remember, <laughs> hey, Aryan is alone talking about a list. I like that religion. Okay. Something different than others. But okay. Yeah, so puzzle. puzzle. let's do puzzle and uh, we'll do the list part later. Okay. Uh you guys remember the puzzle? I think let's see if I draw the things again. puzzle <coughs> uh, you have nine balls, right? So something like this is one. So you have, let's see if I can copy this. A nine ball with the same size and same weight. So they are of the same size and same weight. How many are these? Uh, I think eight. And this one is a nine. Okay. So I got a nine, right? So nine, uh, nine balls are there. And I puzzle what you have Oops. weighing scale. Uh, weighing scale is not digital. It's a old style weighing scale. Right, the uh, full style wing scale. Uh, why I'm missing those? Okay, let's draw things. Oh, okay, something wrong with my screen. Okay, so nine ball sets, uh, they are of the same size and weight. Only one of them is of different weight. The size is same, but weight is different. Something like this. I'm trying to draw that wing scale. <laughs> so, oh, this color picker, this. Okay. So, this supposedly is the weighing scale, okay? So you guys have a wing skill like that. And I, a wing skill might have a basket at the set. And then you can measure two or more balls at a time, right? So what you can do, oh, you can put one ball in this and one ball is in this and measure it and decide, oh, which one is a bigger or smaller? The question was, how many tries you will take to 
may find out which ball is small size or big uh, weighing small or big the question kala kaise karna ki ya balls madhe kutla tari ek ball hai ki jacho wazan kami hai kiwa jast hai tar to ball shodhna sathi kiti vyat mala wazan karala lagela tar kunala answer alay ka tacha ओके आदिति आंसर आल तो संग कि वे मजन करा मेजर करा लगे श्लोक यू आर सेंग वन टाइम मिनिमम वन मैत्रे कैन यू एक्सप्लेन हाउ यू कैन से मिनिमम वन मिनिमम नहीं है ओके आईडी है जो आई डोंट थिंक जो पहला बॉल घा बॉल नंबर वन दिस बॉल वन and ball two and i am being very lucky oh pehla don ball madhe me aala tas tas nahi hai that is not the way we are to get the answer to the lucky factor take it out from your logic worst case scenario ki oh worst case madhe kutla hi ball vega size ta sel tar tevda major karala jar one and two major karu na tumara ta sel tar ya maitre tu are right oh we know one time you will know karan a ya basket madhe tu one takla and you have a kid made two tackles and they are of a different size then you will definitely say oh this ball is a different but you don't know right which one is different ki ha size different hai ki ha size different hai unless you go major with the third one hey so that is not good dipika i found it on a google that's not good uh, don't use google can google se answer de but google will not train your brain right Then you need to find the answer by yourself. Thinking, okay, kiti way or again, after chuki sa sir, tari it's fine, go okay. But tacha ni actually, mucha brain la so I will ki o logic ka hai tacha gusti madhe se search karna chhi. Sir, Deepika, then don't give the answer two times is okay. But is anyone else tried and find out answer ki kiti ye ka hai? <coughs> <coughs> nobody saying yes <laughs> okay the idea is suppose we upon number dile right ya na just for the sake of here i'm putting them 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 just like oh one ball ya tya made second ya made basket made second ball and then we wager so assume it oh the ball to is a bigger size the ball to bigger size hai but how do we know ball to is a bigger or smaller can maybe ball to jar way jasta asel tar then oh we are going to put this third ball in this and say oh who is a bigger so if d is a bigger uh, third is third and two they are bigger we if we compare and say that oh this two still becomes bigger then that is one way but theta sati what we will have to do we will have to go one by one measure all of them so it will take minimum nine times right to measure and find out which ball is bigger or smaller so that is very simple way okay, okay. each ball one ball is constant even we just keep measuring the other ball and that way we will find out which ball is bigger correct that's one way and that will take nine tries correct so that's one simple and easy way to do it but it takes a lot of tries and when we are looking for answer we are not looking for that answer right we are trying to have a try which is of a minimum a uh, minimum tries right so let me just erase this so idea here is another try i will give you a clue guys mm okay so what we are going to go and do we are going to break this into group of 3 so suppose what we are going to go and do if we measure this three 
against these three, then depending on which size, if they both are same size, if they are as the group from the one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, so a group takla and a kai some of the group takla. Karta il the Yes, you know. Right? No. Nobody says yes or no. Current ya weighing scales and limit kai sangitlan up like kitty was not made karushakto, they are not telling us, right? Tapan kitty ball major karushakto ekavela. Tapan tin tin the group ne major kele, taka with ha group one, two, three, ya basket mode, and a five, six, seven, dusra basket mode takla. Tar ja basket high or way high karata sil ja jasta jada sil. The basket, ekter don the kai possibility, donut possibility, right? Ekter doni basket sarkhya was not just still, neither vega was not just still. Sarkhya was not just still, the sagaya ball sarkhit, right? You are to malkaito he, doni basket from the sarkhya was not just still, the kutlas the basket size he won't have me, right? So that is one possibility. If that is the case of sale, sir. Out of these three, four, eight, and nine, out of these three, one of them is major, supposed to be high or low, maybe weighing high or weighing low, right? But then, yeah, suppose upon the possibility, basket same So that means all balls in one, two, three, and five, six, seven are the same size. Then we are left only with these three. So it's going to be very easy to find out. So we can just measure these two guys. And if they are of the same size, he some the Dubai same size chassel, thermokide he will how what you can prove if there is two of the same size, then what you will prove? Nine is a difference, correct. Right? If if somebody says that no, these two are of these two are of not uh, these two are of not not same, one is high and one is low, then one of them is different, correct? So that's one way of defining. But if Samza, this guy and this guy, this group and this group, if we are doing the scaling of these two eyes and one of them is weighing high or weighing low, then pick that group. Right, whichever group is high, you pick that group, and then one of them has to be bigger size, right? So in that case, you can use the same logic and define which one is bigger. Samaste Kamulano Samazlaka, what is the logic? Right, no, no, I, I'm just giving the example slope. So we don't know which one is. So supposedly two months to Saki O E. If this group weighs high, then we can pick one and two and compare. Oh, this and this compare killer. And if they both become same, then three is high. Or if one of them is high, then you can define, oh, that is high, right? We're weighing high. So that's, that's the way you try to solve the puzzle. So basic way or oh, nine ways and uh, nine weights karala. But if you group them and weigh them together, then you can find the result in only two tries. So idea usually logical puzzle asana. The idea is you use your logic to group them or ungroup them and find something common. And now what we did zero to nine, we divided that problem into what three groups, right? One, two. Three and then another group is four, five, six, and third group is seven, oops, seven, eight, and nine. So, whole problem one to nine. Ota. So, now we divided that into smaller groups. And then we found the solution for that smaller group. Eka group study solution find out karu. Tets baki cha group study solution ashnare. The idea is it. 
वोट आता तुम्ही ऐकलं डिवाइड अँड कॉन्कर राईट यु नो दॅट स्ट्रॅटेजी राईट डिवाइड अँड कॉन्कर इट्स अ सेम थॉट प्रोसेस कि हो डिवाइड द प्रॉब्लेम इन टू स्मॉलर पीस अँड ट्राय टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लेम सो ऑलवेज दॅट इज वन ऑफ द थॉट प्रोसेस इन प्रोग्रामिंग लँग्वेज टू देर इज अ लॉजिक कुठलं बिल्ड करायचं असेल तर हो डिवाइड दॅट लॉजिक इन टू स्मॉल पीस and try to implement that to logic so there is a something called recursion of the programming language made so that is basically based on that dividing a bigger problem into smaller problem and then using that smaller logic to solve the bigger problem so can i understand that या प्रोग्राम या लॉजिक या पझल चा आंसर सगळ्यांना समजलंय काय नो की एव्हरी टाइम यू गेट अ पझल तुम्हाला प्रत्येक वेळेला डिफरंट डिफरंट लॉजिक वापरायला लागेल ओके समजलं असेल तर दॅट्स गुड लेट्स कंटिन्यू ऑन अवर पायथॉन कॉन्व्हर्सेशन तर लास्ट टाइम वी स्टार्टेड विथ द डेटा टाईप अँड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंटली वी स्टार्टेड विथ सेक्वेन्स ऑर सेट डेटा टाईप राईट सेट्स मध्ये आपण बघितलं की वी हॅव लिस्ट वी हॅव टपल्स वी हॅव सेट वी हॅव रेंज अँड वी हॅव डिक्शनरीज आणि आय थिंक लास्ट वीक मध्ये वी आर लुकिंग ॲट द लिस्ट राईट सो वट आय मीन यू कॅन कम्पेअर ऑल ऑफ देम हाऊ दे आर डिक्लेअर्ड लिस्ट इज डिक्लेअर्ड विथ लेट मी प्रेझेंट इट सो दॅट माय गेट लिटल बिगर ऑन युअर स्क्रीन सो लिस्ट इज defined with square brackets tuples is defined with round brackets sets are defined with curly braces then the range is kind of a function but it's one of the data type i will explain what it is but again it is with the curly brace uh, sorry round braces and dictionaries comes back again with curly braces but that is the difference kai karaychi lakshat thevayachi garaj nahi but when we go you guys will see it now going back to list as i said or oh, uses this square brackets allow duplicate values so last time bagitla allow duplicate values manje kai karta the you can have apple appearing twice right so let, let me show you the I, i i don't remember did i show you guys the example last time mela no ki example dakhavla ka yes okay so even if we have had that example let me see if i okay what was it okay uh, okay i think we did something but i think we will go back again and do something else just to make sure you guys remember you guys remember all these highlighted items for this list or maybe let's quickly revise it so that way we know what it is right so i think as we were saying that day or you can see list is defined is defined defined with square brackets right you can see on my screen it is square bracket and you can define each field or each name in it so one part is defined in this you can have now here you can see slope is repeated so you can when you print this it's it can have duplicate so let's run this module so you guys will remember or oh, we were looking at the type okay okay uh, student list if you print how you print this list is you definitely use just print command and that that basically prints the whole list so you can see uh, printing of the list happens with just printing that and this you can have duplicate names and then last point was there like or oh, they are list items are changeable that means you can add and remove or modify the whole list then these items are indexed index manje kai sangitlelo magcha vela athavta ka kunala 
See, when you say they are indexed, means they are, first thing is they are ordered. That means, oh, if they are ordered, that means you can access them through the index. And when you say we can access them in index, you can access through some number, right? So if I say this, what it's going to display? I think you guys should remember now. When I say oh, student list bracket zero, what it will display? Do you guys remember? Okay. Mr. Tide, you are on top of it. That's good. Yeah. So you can see here it displays first, first item in that list. So that's what it called index. And if I say, oh, six, then do you guys know what it will show? Index number starts with a zero in a Python. So if this is zero, what will be the sixth one? Okay, yeah, I like printing my name. You know, okay, so you can see, where is it? There's a print, okay, oh, oh no, okay, I counted it wrong too. Someone said Suresh, so I counted that too, okay. It starts with a zero, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? Yeah, so that's it, okay. Yeah, I like my name, but yeah, somehow got wrong number there. Okay, so that's the idea behind the list. And I think last thing we looked at is the class or type of this. So if you say type and print student list, it will tell you what type of data it has. Uh, I, I did not. So when I say type, it is going to print what type of this variable is. So it says this is of the list type. I mean, we will go and see the next data type and that will make more sense to you guys. Uh, Mansi, what is the confusion in names? Names can be anything. I just gave you an example of the student names, right? It just the names are so <laughs> close each other, but you can have, instead of this, you can have apple, grape, banana, banana, oh my screen, then what else, mango. So you can have any kind of names, right? And Mm -hmm. This is really, let me see, something is really wrong on my machine. It's really slow. So any type of name you can put it and the type is, has nothing to do with the, uh, what data you store. So that the data type is always gonna be list no matter what you save in this. I can even actually have one, two, seven, eight, ten. So even if I save this integer number, the type of the class is always gonna be list because I declared it with square brackets. Something really going wrong. Uh, you guys can see on my screen, right? When I run this thing, you guys are good because I think Mansi said she got confused in name. So I just wanted to make sure you guys understand it. Okay. And I did show you guys the example of integer data type there itself. So don't have to confuse anything on it. So now next data type, right? Okay. Tuples, right? Tuples is most of the data type are all same. They can save all the variables one data type can. Be. What one saves, it can be done with the another one too. It's just way of declaring them differently. So there are some 
some differences so you can see the list are changeable but tuples are not changeable right let me show you what does that mean uh, Next screen is you guys can see. Okay, let me show the data type. I so if I declare it with the curly braces, then you can see now in stop list when it runs. Does it come on? You can say it is now type of. Set, right? Tuples are a part of set. So it says data type as a set, and then you can just print it same way. I think maybe I need to. Number. List so that way you guys will be able to see the student list. If I keep saying, so same way you can print the number list. Okay, I should. Change this, all these things, so they make you guys see it better, right? So you can see it does just the print command prints everything in the number list. All right? So you guys understand this? What is happening or what I'm trying to teach you? Mulano Samosteka? Okay. So actually now I want to pick up different, we are on a list and we are on a tuples. I want to actually pick something else to print the name individually, right? So let's whole list, we, are, we can print it like this, right? But there is another way to print or there is something called for loop, which you can use to go through each number and print that number. So there is something in Python or any programming language, they are called loops. So we will use, I mean, I, I know while learning the data type, we will go in a loop. So that way you guys will be having a good idea about how to use these loops. So I think I'm using, okay, why it shows the set? Because so I think I, you guys did not realize or even I did not, I use the curly braces. So that's the reason it shows that as a set. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want to show you guys. So now you can see when you use the print, it basically prints all of them together, right? But there is something called for loop. So we'll just do that for loop. For so for loop has a particular syntax, right? Uh, item or that's where you need to use. I think from my old class or previous year class, uh, do you guys remember what syntax we use? Yeah, come on. For number in number list. So 
you can see let's run this first and then i will explain you what exactly each of these things mean uh -huh. So does it for loop? Okay, maybe I should look at what the for loop syntax is. Right, for. Oh, okay. Somebody need to correct me, guys. I'm going with the C sharp syntax. So this is the way you don't need to actually uh, put curly braces or a braces there, crown braces for a for loop in Python. Okay. So what I'm trying to show, okay, if you guys can see on my screen. It's something really strangely wrong with my system looks like today because it's taking so long to print. But you guys can see when we print this print with the print number list, it printed all this array or list together, right? On single line, it printed all of it together. But now we use something called for loop. And in the for loop, we can have, there is a syntax called, this is the way you take one item from this whole list and how, whatever name you want to give it, you can take that in a temporary variable, right? So that's the idea that oh, you pick up whatever item in this list and put it in this variable and you will repeat these steps for all the numbers in that list. So this number list has all these numbers, right? So it is gonna repeat that things, repeat those steps. And whatever we are gonna do this process for loop, whatever we do this command, it's basically gonna go and do the same for all of them, right? So it's gonna print the first time, it's gonna take this one in this number and then gonna print then it's going to repeat that same thing. Okay, next time it's going to go direct it to two, and then it's going to print that number. Third time it is going to be six, and it is going to print. So it's going to repeat that same way. So just for example, idea is for what does the for loop do? I want to make sure you guys understand how does the for loop work. So if you guys remember when we said, oh, list is something like array or a set of table where you basically keep your all, all data. So if, if I assume this or I'll explain you guys this way, Oh, these all numbers are saved in this. Okay, this is all these numbers are saved in this sequence in this this particular uh, row and column, or how you can say if they are if you have some kind of a, a storage boxes, then all these numbers are saved in all these boxes one after another then this is how they are gonna look, right? So they are saved into these all boxes. So what this for loop does is pick one number and put into this number variable for the time being. Yeah, you, YOLO, you go ahead. So when you write a for loop, so for loop, basically, when you write the for loop, whatever the variable name, right? This is the variable name. Suppose when we are saying here is the number variable. 
this number variable number in this number list right what we are saying number list number so what this variable does is first time it basically get this variable and puts into this number variable and when we just say print it here print when we say this print number it basically prints that whatever content in that number variable so when we print this it's going to print that number there so what is that number it's one at first time the second time it's going to go fetch this number and put it into this number variable so second time it's going to go print it it's going to print that two here third time it's going to this for loop going to repeat this for loop is going to repeat because what we are saying for number in number list right what do we say number in number list so it's going to repeat for each of them the third time it's going to fetch this number and put it into this number variable and then we are going to print that again here right that six will get printed third time then fourth time fourth time it will go fetch this for uh, fourth number and put it into this number variable and then we are going to print that out here and last time it's going to pick up this number and put it into number variable and print it out so with the for loop you can go through all those numbers and do whatever you want i'm just currently showing only the print part of it but you can if you want to do square of number then you can do that so let's do that part so that to make it what really for loop and how it works with this number let's do that square of a number how do you square a number in in python multiply number with its own can you guys someone of you can tell me how i can print square of a number in python is that the way i'm going to type whatever you tell my tra is that the way is just like this you should say that okay i will go that square square i'm just going to do what you guys are at. see that doesn't work square square right it simply square how you do it when you say square basically what you mean it's number into number right so just for example if i say number into a number here say come on okay number into number that's going to multiply that same number again with him right so you can now go and see how that really works out so you can see the original numbers are printed like as it is first time but when i print square of each number you can see hey, what's happening here first time 1 into 1 is always going to be 1 right then the second number is a 2 but 2 into 2 is what can you guys say something or no 2 into 2 is a 4 right so that it printed 4 here then third number is a 6 So what is going to print? Six into six. What is that? Six into six is what? Thirty-six, right? Yeah. And then third number, fourth number is eight. So what it will print? Eight into eight. Sixty-four. 
and the last nine last number is what 10 right so 10 into 10 is 100 that's correct so what i'm trying to show is with the for loop you can just not just print it but you can do whatever you want i can have 10 different commands here and those all will repeat for each of this iteration each for each of this number so if i just want to say oh instead of printing this if i want to subtract one and then multiply with two we can implement that that whole logic as it is maybe that's something we can go and do if you guys want to do it later on but uh, okay so now with this current today's class you are learning the for loop and even we looked at for oh, tuples is one of the data type right so the list and tuples they are little different in terms of uh, how they are being assigned because if you look at this this says list items are ordered and list items are changeable but tuples are ordered but are not changeable so maybe what does that really mean is okay let's see the example what does that mean but till that point uh, guys you, you understand what i'm trying to tell you right about so uh, i think if i think i did not show you guys one part with the list is what does that mean is for that to explain order changeable or not changeable it is little tricky so maybe i'll I, you guys can just remember that but somewhere on a line i will show you the other functionality or other what is that mean what does it mean when it says uh, when it means it's changeable and not changeable it it's kind of technically you can add to the existing list of variables but it's going to be little difficult for you guys to understand so let's keep it keep that part for later but you can see this this all functionality you guys know now with this tuples or list variable then there are few more data types we have which is called sets and you can see our set uses curly brackets and sets do not allow duplicates so just for example let's let let me show you quickly what does that mean so if i say it uses curly braces right after this i will we'll talk about some puzzle again just to keep you guys interested so i'm going to take out this because we don't want to learn about the array now but as we saying sets do not allow duplicate values and if if i try having two again here then let's see what what error you can say right so you can see though it has two twice it doesn't let me have two twice here right it just prints it only one time does it make sense or not for you guys because just for example if i change this to list you guys will know the difference what i mean so now this is a list right when it is a square bracket this is a list and when i print a list you can see that two appearing twice at the second place and at the last place let me print that and let me turn on light in my room that is okay so here 
when it is used in a list you can see two is printed here once and here once because list allows duplicate but when you say set set don't allow duplicate so as soon as i change this data type to set you can see that two is not getting printed so is it making sense to you guys what does that really it allows duplicate and doesn't allow duplicate mean let it run and then you will see the output here so you can see the two is not last two is not getting printed right when it is set so that's the idea behind the set and list so when you are basically trying to save the name of a people and you don't want to allow duplicate that time you are going to use set but yeah you know if you are letting like student list one was just said so in that case you need a duplicate right because a lot of people will have duplicate name that time you will use list so depending on what kind of requirement you have in your program you have to use one or the other so that that one was kind of a very important difference between the set and the tuples or list these things is something okay once you start using start using this you will automatically know these things so now i think we will hold on to it for today on this one i will just go with some of the other puzzles because i think we did one big part of for loop in today's class so you, i just want to make sure you guys remember the for loop so let me ask you guys so now uh, if i have to print this uh, this list maybe i want you guys to suggest me how to write the for loop for this so can can someone of you type the for loop to print this list so actually maybe instead of list now what i want to take name of the cities right so i'll take the name of the cities i'll type the name of the cities till that someone from you guys can type the for loop to print the name of the cities No, no. I don't want you guys to type in the name of the city. I want you guys to type a for loop or syntax for a for loop. Okay. that's good yeah, arjun so okay uh, let's see uh, that's good so i think i will put this city list so that way you can see what you wrote is for city in city list right and then what you are saying is print so for other kit is this correct maybe before i run i want to make sure i ask you guys okay yeah arjun said something so go ahead manshi so arjun said something so is that correct Yes, no. Someone need to confirm what Arjun typing, right? Okay, Kadambari is saying that. Okay, so somebody confirm. Yes, Kadambari. I think your Louis uh, loop uh, and his loop is almost same. I think he just uh, completed with the correct syntax, but that's good. Both of you complete uh, saying same thing. So let me just print it so you can see, right? This for loop works perfectly fine. 
with printing all the name of the cities one after another right so yeah so i think uh kadambari and arjun remember it but i want to make sure you all of you other remember that for loop because we will try to do the for loop for bigger functionality here i think we are just printing the name of the city but eventually we want to write some code which we can keep calling in a for loop okay so that's good uh, maybe we just want to go with some puzzles to keep you guys happy uh here is something i just thought of uh, just number we can just play with some number sequence and you guys can give me the answer here itself hey by the way guys uh ulan obi uh, i forgot to mention you next tuesday uh we will not have a class okay so i just want to make sure you guys remember i will mention it to uh vaishali madam that okay i will not be able to take next week's class so maybe you want to check with her but i will not be taking the class so maybe i'll ask her if we can have just a break or if you guys want to have a class with uh, someone else taking covering this one then you guys should be okay but i think i'll ask if that's the possibility okay sir uh, okay i just forgot to mention you guys good i remember that so okay let's play with some numbers okay so if i say okay this is a number sequence for so what will be the next number all of you can see on my screen right if these are the first few numbers okay good okay can you explain what is the thought process behind this arjun can you just type in few words there and explain why you think it is 25 Arjun and Kadambari are the most uh, uh, prompt kids, right? So I, I want the others also to give the answer. Even if it is wrong, you will at least mm, pay attention for the next uh, explanation. So yeah, correct. These are the squares of the numbers, right? In a sequence. So technically, just for someone who don't remember, no, oh, the square of one is one. then what is the square of 2 that's the next number square of 3 so i'm just picking up numbers in a sequence and listing their squares right so that's one sequence now the next sequence i want to put it is what will be the next number okay you want me to think something good uh, anyone else arjun and then kadam bari missing you here ayush that's good okay so now ayush maybe i want you to say what's the thinking behind it Your thing answer is sixteen. So why you think sixteen? What's the thinking behind it? Right. So what we are doing is the difference between these two is what we keep increasing. Right. First time the difference is one. Here the difference is two. Here the difference is three. Then four. So what will be the next difference is a five, right? So that's the idea behind it. So now the third sequence, and this is just fun part, guys. Okay, current you guys need to start thinking of logically, not for I think the kids who are answering they know things, right? But for the kids who are trying to know for them, बाकी तो मुझे आंसर नहीं करते हैं, so I'm just assuming that okay they are learning something from this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Six. 
16 then 31 so what will be the next number You guys can think a little more. Okay, good. I'll assume saying 56. And can you answer the Okay, good. Are you do you see what Arjun is saying? Is that correct? Okay, Arjun saying 45. Okay. Anyone else? Okay, let's see what here. I mean, looking at it, it is kind of going to be little, little tricky, right? Because I'm just putting something. If you someone asks you right away this, it's going to be really little tricky to find out the answer. But looking at these two examples, it might be little helpful, right? So if what I'm doing it here is Oh, if I do square of first one, so square of that number adding to that existing number. So that will be square of one is one. Adding it to one, it will become two. So now square of this two, then this next sequence number, right? Square of two, which is four, adding to this number becomes six. Now square of three, which is nine adding to six becomes nine, 15, right? Square of four adding to 15 becomes 31, correct? And then square of five adding to 31 becomes 56, correct? So that's the logic here. Good, I, I think few of you getting it correctly. Uh, Aryan, uh, Kardakadula, I mean, do, you, do you understand how this 56 is the answer? Okay, it just getting wrong is better than not trying. So you 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 try it, which is good. Now next time you will know at least try thinking about different way of doing things because not every problem is gonna be same. Here is one thing, here is one thing, and that's what they keep saying about the logical solutions. Okay, I think we are almost close to our time. Uh, so I will uh, let uh, Vaishali Madam know that I will not be able to take next Tuesday's class. So most probably you guys will have a day off, but if not, then she will uh, ask someone to take this, carry on this class in my absence. So you guys are good to go. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording and stop presenting.